Welcome to Electron Online. One of the skills that we must have in order to be able to factor things, such as polynomials, is getting the insight of how to find the, what we call the missing factor. For example, if we take x to the 7th power and write it as the product of two factors, given one factor, what will be the other factor? We call that the missing factor. Notice that we multiply and the bases are the same, the exponents add together. So that means that this should be x with some exponent, and 2 plus a missing exponent should give me 7. Therefore, I need x to the 5th power. x to the 2nd power times x to the 5th power gives me x to the 7th power. What's the missing factor in our next exercise? Well, notice we already have a 3. And we already have one of the x's, but we're missing the other x, which means we need another x. And we don't have the y here, so we need a y. It's always good to then multiply the two factors to make sure we have what we're supposed to get. So 3x times xy, that gives us 3. x times x is x squared. And we have the y, that's 3x squared y. So yes, we found the missing factor. How about the next one? Now that should be easy, just a number. 2 times what gives us 46? In this case, 2 times 23 gives us 46. So there's the missing factor. How about over here? 8x cubed equals 2x times what? Well, first of all, we're going to need a 4 because 4 times 2 gives me 8. And that's sometimes the best way to think about it. What here multiplied times this gives me what I need to have over here. So in this case, to get 8, 4 times 2 gives me 8. And what times x gives me x cubed? Well, that would be x squared. x squared times x gives me x cubed. And that's usually the best way to think about how to find the missing factor. So let's try that on our next exercise. What times 2 gives me 14? Well, that would be 7. 7 times 2 is 14. What times 1 gives me x squared? Well, that would be x squared. And what times y to the 4th gives me y to the 5th? Well, that would be a y. So 7 times 2 is 14. x squared times 1 is x squared. y times y to the 4th is y to the 5th. And finally, what if we have a binomial and we factor out a common factor to xy. What will I have here and what will I have here? Again, we use the same technique. What times this will give us the first term? So first of all, what times 2 gives me 4? Well, that would be the number 2. What times x gives me x to the fourth? Well, that would be x cubed. And uh, what times y gives me y? Well, just 1, so I don't need a y there. I already have the y over here, so that's the first term. Well, the second term, what times 2 gives me 12? Well, that would be the number 6. 6 times 2 is 12. What times x gives me x squared? Well, that would be x. And what times y gives me y cubed? That would be y squared. And there you go. There's the missing factors. Now, notice that to make sure we check it by multiplying everything out again. 2 times 2 is 4. x cubed times x is x to the fourth. 1 times y is y. 6 times 2 is 12, x times x is x squared, y squared times y is y cubed. So I have the missing factors, and that is how it's done.